Next are my pens. I've said in a million things before in life how much I love novelty things and novelty stationery and novelty pens. Uh, so obviously we had to get some. So the first one, I got myself this Marie pen. It's so cute. I don't know if you get there. That's probably better. Look how pretty it is. It's just the outline. I thought it was really cute. They had lots of her, like with her properly on it, but I just really like the outline one. And it says Walt Disney World on it, and it's got bows, and it's pink, and it's just lovely. This is another one for me. Every time that I've been to a Disney park, I've got one of these bobblehead mini pin, uh, pens. Uh, the first one, I just got the standard um, like Minnie Mouse one that they do. The second time, I got like a different colorway of it. And then I saw this one, which I don't know if it's meant to be like hipster mini. I hope it's not, because I'm not a hipster. Um, I just thought she was really cute and sassy and like the way she got her hands out and her big glasses and it was pink and I just loved it. So I wanted a bobblehead one and this was different. So this is the one I picked. I then picked this one for my mum and I'm going to regret it because I want it for myself, which I actually did to her the first time we came. I bought her a pen. No, I bought her two pens one for at home and one for at work, her workplace and then I bought myself one and I ended up swapping one of mine with hers because I just loved it too much but I, I love this look how cool it is it's like a um mini mouse like head but it's pink and look what it does it lights up I love it I hope she'll like it too I don't know if she'll ever light it up probably not and I think it's one of these annoying ones where it has to just stop itself I don't know but I love that. I'm jealous. I want it for myself. This is another pen for myself. I just realized that I've got loads of pens for myself. Uh, but it's a Sully one. I love Monsters, Inc. Sully is my bae. The last time we came in 2012, I had the best interaction with Sully ever. Um, and they don't meet, do meet and greets with him anymore. Please bring that back, Disney. So I had to get something Sully and I got this pen and I love it. It's like really weird. It feels really weird. And it's a bobble head and it's just a clicky one. Sully pen. And then we have two Jack Skeleton pens. I'm a huge uh, Nightmare Before Christmas fan. So is my little brother and so is my older brother's girlfriend. So we got this one for my little brother. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just like Jack Skeleton, but he like moves around. He's really cool. I think you may move as you like right as you lean on the nib if that makes sense but it says nightmare before christmas and yeah we just thought that was really sweet so we got that for my little brother and then we got this one for my older brother's girlfriend um yeah it's just jack skin he stands up on his own i thought it was really cool and yeah just love it jack skeleton we got a few random home items. Uh, we just wanted stuff around our house to remind us of Disney and everyday life. So we got this like spatula that's like a Mickey hand and it's got the little ears and the handle. And yeah, we just wanted it because we'll use it every day and it reminds us of this trip. So yeah, we bought that for our kitchen. And then another magnet, I got a Mickey waffle magnet. I am officially obsessed with Mickey waffles. I love them. They're my favourite breakfast of all time. So when I saw this and it really looked like looks exactly like one, I was like, that is throw out the floor. That is going on our fridge. On the same theming as that magnet, we found another Mickey waffle, but this is a dog toy. <laughs> oh my god! We got this for our family dog. Uh, well, for like my family dog my mum and dad's dog. It's our dog, it's like all of us, but obviously we've all moved out. So it's like, it's the family dog, I don't know. For Dylan, we got this um, for him to play with. And I was just like, every time I see him with it, it's just gonna make me happy because I love Mickey Waffles. So yeah, we just love that. And then for Ben's family dog, for him and his mum's dog, we uh, she's a girl, she's called Pepsi, and she's a golden retriever, and she's a lovely little pampered po pooch, princess pooch. So we got her a mini bow and it's a sweet toy too. And I think Ben's mum is going to love that we got her this. So I can't wait to see her reaction when we show her that. Ben didn't have a luggage tag when we came on holiday this time. Uh, he thought he did and then he didn't. So then he ended up borrowing someone's just like boring brown leather one. And I have a sparkly unicorn one that I just bought for this trip. So I couldn't justify buying a Disney one, which was really annoying because they had so many cool ones. But Ben got himself this one, which says, wish we were there already. And it's got the genie on it. 
Aladdin's one of my all-time faves and Ben's all-time faves and Genie is just one of our favourite characters overall and yeah you just fill out the back with your details and it's got the Genie on it. One of those random small things that I just got sitting next to me this is again from the Japan pavilion in Epcot was these Rilakkuma am I saying it right Rilakkuma? I don't know if I'm ever saying it right, but I follow their Instagram and I've been obsessed with Rilakkuma things for a very long time, but they're hard to get hold of in the UK. Near where I live anyway, no one says anything that's Rilakkuma themed. So I saw these lovely stickers and I love stationery and stickers and they're all glittery and cute and they're teddies and I just had to have them. For what? I don't know. But I love them. <laughs> just sitting over here next to me, we've got my lay this is from when we went to ohana's at the polynesian resort which was by the way one of the best dining experiences we've had this entire holiday it was incredible the food was perfect the location the fireworks it was just gorgeous so we yeah, i'm keeping these to remind us of that wonderful night and then we've got this little bucket and spade because when we went to typhoon lagoon the second time we got the sand pail ice cream sundae this was filled with ice cream and like fudge brownies and cookies and waffles and just like everything that you want from life basically. And yeah, you just like ate it with the, I, I mean, I didn't eat it with this, we got spoons, but you could have if you wanted to. <laughs> Next up are plushies. I am a huge plushie fan. They're like my favorite thing. I just love soft toys. Like when I was a kid, I always was way more obsessed with teddies than I was with dolls or Barbies. I just love them. I still, like, I've literally got my teddy here with me. Was bought for Ben when he was born. Oh so, yeah. I just, I love, I love soft toys, okay? I'm an adult, I don't care, I love soft toys. So, the ones that I got this time were... Baymax! I got Baymax, isn't he beautiful? I'm too scared to like, I really wanna cuddle him and kiss him, but I've got makeup on and I'm not getting him dirty because he's pure white. I had a really amazing, uh, interaction with Baymax at a meet and greet this time um, at Epcot. It was just, he was just gorgeous and lovely and it was really nice. We've got really great photos, which I might include for you here. Um, and yeah, so I just had to get a Baymax. I love him. I love that film, such a good film. He's such a good character. I also got Tigger, but You'll know this if you're a hardcore Winnie the Pooh fan. He is like the original Tigger, like the Tigger in the books. Like I had the books when I was a kid, when I was tiny. You know, it's got the old fashioned illustrations of them that don't quite look like the ones that you like now know Winnie the Pooh as. Um, Cause they did do like Tigger, like standard Tigger that's like new. But then this, this version I just fell in love with. And it's become a running theme that whoever I have like a really good character interaction with at Disney, I buy the plushie. So the first time, Sully was amazing, and I bought a little, Ben bought me a little Sully. And the second time, Winnie the Pooh was incredible, and we bought a Winnie the Pooh. And then this time, Baymax and Tigger were amazing. Um, and I just, I just adore, I think my mum's gonna want one of these, like, cause it just looks like the old school one in the shelf in the book. Like, I just, look at his cuddly <laughs> I love him so much, he's so soft, and he just reminds me of my childhood, so, there. There's no shame in my game about my plushies, I literally love them. To go with Tigger, because I had another amazing character, I had really good character interactions this holiday. Last time we didn't really meet that many of them, uh, just because we were so busy, uh, but this time, because we had to go at a much slower pace, because of both of us being fairly unwell, um, we got more time to do things, so we spent more time with characters. And one of the ones that I didn't ever get to meet the last when I went to Florida the last time and to Paris was Eeyore. I just kept missing him. Every time he came out, we weren't there, we were doing something else, or he'd just go in and we didn't have time to wait. But this time we had breakfast on the first day with the Winnie the Pooh characters and Eeyore was there and it was amazing. I might include a photo here. Um, so I had to get an Eeyore, so I got the little one because I thought he was so cute. He is so soft and I love that his tail comes off <laughs> like it's meant to and it's got the little pin and the bow. It's just gorgeous, okay? I just love it. And he's the storybook version like the Tigger is as well because there's like a newer Eeyore that doesn't look like this. 
Um, but this is like how Eeyore looks in all the old school books. Look at him. He's just beautiful, isn't he? I love him. <laughs> I think this might be the last plushie I got for myself from Disney and I don't even know if it classes as, as a plushie but me and Ben like I said we're huge uh, Nightmare Before Christmas fans and when we saw this we both just went yeah that is cool we're having that and it is a Jack Skeleton elf on the shelf so obviously like you can move him around and he can sit in different places and yeah uh, we just wanted to get him out of Christmas and have him as one of our Christmas decorations we just love him look how big his hat is hey it's so cool so yeah I love him gonna put him in some sassy situations can you just like yeah Woo! <laughs> yeah so we adore him <laughs> this is a gift for so oh no we've got two i've got two it's not last it's not last this was a gift for my little brother again like i said he's a huge jack skeleton fan but yeah we got this for him it's so cute it's really soft also they had a zero the dog and i really wish i got it for myself damn it like i don't have enough right but yeah that's a gift and then also a gift, I got my best friend Robin, a Lion King, but it's like a clip. So it could go on keys, it could go on a handbag, it could go in a room somewhere. It's just so cute. Her favorite is the Lion King. Um, so yeah, and she's been so good to me. I had to bring her back some gifts. So yeah, I got her a little Simba, cute. Oh, just before I go on to the food, here's my cup from my resort. You paid like $17 and then you could get like free refills at our resort and at other resorts we, we we definitely got our money's worth at ours every single night we'd at least get a couple of drinks and then bring back water with ice and stuff to put in our fridge but yeah it's just really cute got all the characters on it i chose the purple lid and ben chose the red so on to food first thing we got these the last time last time we came like i said to epcot we had to just like run through it and one of the pavilions we actually did make it to was Germany, but literally just on the outside, they've got like a confectionery place and it smelt incredible. So we went inside and it had like worth loads of Werther's Originals and toffee apples and stuff. And we were like, oh God, we have to get something. But we didn't want to get just stuff you could get in like Asda at home <laughs> in the UK. So we found this stuff, which I believe now you can get in the UK. Um, my boyfriend informs me, although I've never seen it. But um, yeah, it, we tried this. It's just chewy chocolate caramel covered in rich European chocolate. It's just fucking amazing. <laughs> so we bought it last time we were upset. It was our favorite thing food-wise that we brought back actually. So this time we were like, we have to get more resin. So is it re resin, reason? I don't know how to, tell me if you know how to pronounce it. Uh, but we got the bag each, because we love it. <laughs> so yeah. And then from the Germany pavilion, everyone I know that Disney vlogs raves about these crisps. So I had to try them. I, they look to me like knickknacks, but barbecue flavored. I don't know, but everyone told me to try them. So I'm trying them. I've got a bag. I don't know what they're gonna be like. I hope I like them. The other thing that everyone told me to try from Japan were these sweets. And they're just like gummy candies, but they had all different flavors. They went for peach in the feel really satisfying to squeeze is that weird they're really like soft and spongy <laughs> just, this is just weird now because i'm sitting here doing this this next thing we thought was really really cool and this is another gift for my brother's girlfriend um and this is a little cauldron halloween disney cauldron and it's got little mickey uh, pumpkins all around the outside and it looks like this and it's actually quite weighty and it's actually hot chocolate with marshmallows inside. Now this is because um, Abby, my brother's girlfriend, loves um, like loves her hot chocolates and her flavored teas and stuff. She loves like Jack Skeleton Nightmare Before Christmas stuff and she loves hot chocolate. So I thought that was a really thoughtful gift. So yeah, that's a gift for her. We got these chocolate malt balls for Ben's mum. She's obsessed with Maltesers. Um, and yeah, we just wanted to get like our parents some foodie things because they love that so yeah we thought we'd get her the mickey version of maltesers i'm guessing that's what they're going to be like malt balls surely and then these ones are for my mum the milk chocolate raisins mum i was stood there and i was like is it raisins or peanuts that she likes does she like chocolate covered peanuts or raisins i couldn't remember so we got the raisins but we also got the peanuts because they couldn't remember so 
whichever one she doesn't want, we're gonna have because we like them anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna offer both to my mum and see. And she can't have both. Mum, if you're watching this, you definitely can't have both. Although, if you're watching this, you would have already eaten whichever one you chose. So this is really weird. Inception. But yeah, one or the other. So we've got milk chocolate raisins, milk chocolate peanuts. Do -do -do. Oh, these, I just love the look of. White chocolate pretzels. I love those flips ones is that what they're called the brand and they're really hard to find everywhere um my brother is obsessed with them as well uh but these are like the disney version so we wanted to try those milk chocolate pretzels these i thought were so cool and like i don't really want to eat them because the box is so nice and they're so like novelty and i love it but they're also right up my street they're like my favorite type of chocolate it says chocolate tames the beast and it's a beauty and the beast box how cool is that um, but they're milk chocolate raspberry roses. I'm the one that eats all the like strawberry and raspberry flavored cream things in the quality street at Christmas and the roses tin. All the tins, I'll have the strawberry and raspberry ones. So when I saw these and Beauty and the Beast is one of my faves, I was like, hello, they're coming home with me. There's another thing, everyone told me it was amazing. Everyone I know that's ever been to Disney World has said to get these biscuits. They're meant to be just the best biscuits in the world. So we picked up a box. They're the Minis Bake Shop Assorted Chocolate and Vanilla Character Cookies. I actually bought these, a box of these for my mum in 2012 and she still hasn't eaten them. They're probably out of date. They definitely are out of date by now. Um, but she just was like, I can't open them. It was so sweet that you got me them. So she just kept the box. So I was like, we never got to taste them. So this time I bought them for us and we are gonna eat them. And lastly, we got two bags of uh, Goofy's Candy Co. Sweets. We got the Sour Character Gummies and the sour gummy worms. I like anything sour, so yeah, I'm excited to try both of those. That is how you know it's a big haul when your arm is fucking killing you halfway through, like just from holding items up. My arm hurts. Oh, before I go on to clothes, I just found another pin. We, ju we literally just bought this, like literally tonight, so that's why I forgot to include it. But we wanted to get the Caribbean Beach Resort pin because we actually wanted a magnet, but we lit, there's no magnets for our resort. We went to my Pinet Court or Disney Springs and they had literally every other resort but ours. And the lady was like, yeah, they've just designed a new one. We don't have it yet. So we were like, we have to get something because we've loved this resort. We loved staying here. So we got a pin. So that's that. And then I have actually been really disappointed with Disney's women's pajamas. I love new jammies. It's like one of my favorite things to buy. Jammies and socks and stationery are like my favorite things to buy myself. And I really wanted to come back with like 10 million pairs of Disney pajamas. And I just really wasn't that phased by any of them. But I like the boys ones more. So fuck it. I bought men's ones for myself because I like them. So there. <laughs> They're these ones. I got them in like a massive size as well because I just love John Owens pajamas. They're just navy and white and I thought they were really cool. And they've got Mickey all over them and a drawstring waist. And yeah, they're just full length because let's face it, I'm going back to England and it's gonna be fucking freezing compared to being here. So yeah, I love those. I was just disappointed. I would have liked some like pink girly ones, but there weren't any. So tough shit for me really, but I do really like these. I think they're really cool. I like subtly Disney, aren't they? Love those. Ben also picked himself a pair of pajamas and I'm really jealous because I should have picked these first, but he picked them first and he's actually been wearing them whilst we've been here. And it's these ones. <laughs> They're the exact same like drawstring waist, full length. Mickey all over them in like little, he's putting like different faces, like a kind of like a comic strip with really bright luminous colors. So yeah, uh, I really think they're so cool and I'm jealous. I will probably steal them when it's working nights. Just saying. Um, this you would have seen if you've watched my vlogs as well. So I had a disaster on the first day. I picked out a really cute outfit. It was more Minnie Mouse themed. I basically was like Minnie Mouse Disney bounding on the first day. My outfit just literally fell to pieces on me and it was embarrassing and horrible. And I will be writing some serious emails to the company. I had to literally buy an outfit in the parks there and then, like the first thing I could find. And because I was wearing a play suit, obviously that meant I had to get top and bottoms or a play suit and I couldn't find any play suits. So the only Disney shorts that were women's that we could find were these like tracky ones with this cute little Mickey head that's like blue. I mean, I'm not mad at them. Like 
I like them and I, I really like them to wear to bed. They're really comfy. Um, I didn't feel so great wearing them <laughs> on park. It's just not what I would normally wear. To be fair, I was fucking really comfortable. Like it was the most comfortable I've probably been this whole holiday. I felt like I was saying to bed, I felt like I was in my pajamas. Um, but yeah, they were literally the only women's shorts we could find. So we bought them because I literally had my ass and my tits hanging out. So we bought <laughs> those to wear and this top to wear, which I actually love. And again, I'll probably wear it as a sleep shirt. Mickey Mouse top that says Walt Disney. And I just got it in as big a size as I possibly could. Yeah. And I just like the purple color. They did have a pink one and I was arming an R in, but I like the purple. I like the shade that it was. I always get like the garish, most garish, most gaudy, <laughs> novelty like top that i can get uh whenever we go on holiday like i just want those like really cheap like i went to here and i bought this t-shirt i don't necessarily wear them at the house but i just love them and then i saw this and i was like that is mine and it is this amazing disney tie-dye t-shirt and it's got saucer mickey on it can you get more gaudy than that or garish no and it says Walt Disney World, and I love that it says 2016 as well. Music, magic, and memories, and it's tie-dye and fabulous. Next up, this is a gift. Um, last time we came, my dad only asked for one thing as a present. He was like, just get me a t-shirt, but like, I want it to look like a vintage Mickey Mouse t-shirt, and I'll sleep for me to sleep in, because it's not really his style to wear like Disney stuff. So I was like, okay. Um, and he's been obsessed with it. He's worn it to death, and so has my mum. My mum steals it off him and wears it to bed herself as a nighty. <laughs> And yeah, so this time I was like, I'll buy you a new one because yours has gone all bobbly and shit. So you need a fresh one. And I found this and I thought it was really cool. So it's this like bluey, grey colour. And it says Mickey Mouse and it's Steamboat Willie. I thought it looked really vintage and cool. And yeah, it's really soft. Um, so I hope he likes it. If he doesn't, I'll have it. So there. Next is a top that Ben picked out for himself. Um, it's really cool. I really love it. It says... Walt Disney World on the back and number 71. Is this a, is this a baseball shirt? It's a baseball shirt. <laughs> um, and it's got the Walt Disney World American Tradition 1971 thing there. And then it's got it on the arm as well. And yeah, it's just really cool. Um, buttons down the front. So he got himself that. As I said, I'm absolutely obsessed with Tower of Terror, both of us are. So I got this jumper and I love it. I can't wait to wear it. I might actually wear it on the plane home. Haven't decided yet. It is this Hollywood Tower extended stay falling prices. I thought it was really funny it said falling prices because you fall in the ride. And I'm simple like that. Um, I just really love, I love gray sweatshirts, gray round neck sweaters, like pullover ones are just the comfiest, easiest to wear thing for around the house especially in winter i just love them so i got this one and then we both really wanted a walt disney world 2016 hoodie to wear so ben picked this one for himself it's a zip through and it says walt disney world authentic original his doesn't actually say the date on it which i don't think he was as bothered as i was i really wanted a 2016 one but it's this dark gray and i must say all of their hoodies and jumpers are really good quality they're so soft um and like thick and just decent um i know you pay a bit more for them but i think actually they're not that bad for the price and the quality and i got this one it's again it's a zip through but a light gray and it's got the same emblem as on my tie-dye gory t-shirt her <laughs> sorcerer mickey with 2016 Walt disney world and then on the back it has this and i might wear that on the plane I haven't decided between either of them yet don't know what I'm going to wear on the plane, to be honest. Other, like, clothing items. Ben got himself this hat, and he's worn it to death on this holiday. It's really cool. He really wanted just a cap to wear whilst we were out and about, uh, because, mainly because of the heat, uh, but also just because he wanted one. And, yeah, it was this Walt Disney World, and it's got Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie. It's got Mickey's, uh, fo is it Follies? Yeah, and then the dates. There he is. And then there's Sorcerer Mickey. Just got all different Mickeys around it, and it's navy, and it's really cool. And this is also just made me super jealous. Uh, ben got this at Hollywood Studios. I kept saying to him, you haven't worn your ears, you haven't worn your ears, and he's like, I've got my cap, I'm just gonna wear that. And I was like, no, you have to wear ears to one of the shows with me, okay? Because I've worn ears every day. Um, and then he picked this, and it's so cool. We've, we only saw one other person wearing it as well, which is really cool, because it's like a lot of people have the same ears, like a lot of people have these, millions. 
but it's got all the characters in like these luminous can you see how cool that is in color and then i don't really know how to work this oh here we go but look what it does they light up and they like change and if you wear them to phantasmic hollywood studios they're in sync with the show so like when the villains come out they go red it's just incredible when the f blue fireworks go up they go blue it flashes in time with the music it was just amazing it was the coolest thing um yeah and i just i loved those it's so cool i'm so jealous he kept holding out and holding out and i just bought like i, I mean these were from our first trip but i i'll show you what ones i bought and then i'd already bought them so i couldn't justify another one but when he picked this i was like oh, should have waited because that is cool on the theme of ears obviously i have these ones and i've got pink sparkly ones i got in paris but this trip i bought myself the leopard print ones at animal kingdom and i wore them a good few times actually at animal kingdom and to the t-rex restaurant and stuff i like to be in theme okay so yeah i got these leopard print ones and this is the one i was dreaming of this time the big pink bow i just love it it's glittery it's so like plush when it's on your head it's literally huge um, I've worn these to death, I love them. Next few items are clothing, but kind of accessories, and were from, again, the Japan Pavilion in Epcot. I got this, it's too cute, you're gonna die. This Sailor Moon cat hat. How cute is this? Oh my God. I love Sailor Moon, I love anything that's like anime, manga-y, Japanese-y, Harajuku girly, anything like that, I love. And when I saw this, and I love novelty hats, I just was like, yes, this is made for me. It's gonna be winter soon, and I adore it. Look how cute, it's the fucking cutest thing you've ever seen, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I also got, you're not ready for this, a Jigglypuff hat. <laughs> how cute is that? There's a snapback, it's pink, it's just gorgeous. Me and my boyfriend are both obsessed with Pokemon Go, still. I don't care if everyone else has gone off it, we still love it. Um, and Jigglypuff is one of my faves. Ben always says it's me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just love it. Look how cute. It's got the ears. I like it when you wear it backwards as well because you can see the ears still. Oh yeah. Cutest hats ever. And then Ben got himself this really cool black and red pixelated Mario snapback, which I really like. And yeah, the back just looks like that. And there's the front. And they were all from the Japan Pavilion. This, is this clothing? I don't know, does it count? I don't know. But Ben bought himself on a random day when it was chucking it down, he bought himself a poncho. It's just clear, it's got a hood. You know what a poncho looks like, but it's